What's shaking with it, man? It's your boy Hizzle on the check-in and all that, you heard? Top of the top to the G's. But yo, check this shit out right here, man. I got a little message for the little nigga Takashi69, man. Who the f*** told you you was the king of New York, little nigga? You been on the spotlight for approximately four minutes and 24 seconds, man. If you don't fall back like you slipped on a banana pill, you little bozo ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, the only reason niggas ain't make you a motherfucking plate out here in the streets is because you a money bag for one of the big trades out in the K, man. They looking at you as an opportunity to generate revenue so they would never let their investment get harmed. Real niggas know what it is with the little nigga, you feel me? Little nigga be talking brazy though, fam, like... Do is yell on tracks, he's talentless and he's fucking shit up, man. You're making the bitty look bad, you homie. You heard? Got us looking real fucking brazy out here, man. Niggas embracing goofy. It was crazy. A lot of people feel some type of way. I say I'm the king of New York, you know what I'm saying? And I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But if I wasn't the king of New York, don't you think somebody would have stopped me by now? Don't you think somebody would have put an end to that? So fucking dub. And if I wasn't the king of New York, y'all wouldn't even pay me no money. I'd be like, yo, just let that. Clown talk, and niggas irrelevant. But y'all be so caught up in y'all feelings because y'all know it's true. I think niggas be so mad because of this rainbow hair, right? The rainbow teeth. Y'all be like, yo, why is this nigga winning and I'm not? Why is my raps and I'm more talented than the kid and that shit not working and all that shit? You know what I'm saying? And this kid is screaming on the mic and it's working. That shit gets y'all so tight. But you know, I'm gonna keep winning. You know why? Because I, I listen to, to my fans and I listen to people, bro. And, I, and y'all. Just got so much hate in y'all fucking heart, you fucking bold ass niggas. Fuck's going on, man? Y'all don't got fucking 300,000 sitting on y'all fucking neck, ass niggas. What's up, fams? We gotta talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Now we gotta talk about this one. Now, Mr. Six Shug Nine Knight. He's back at it again, okay? Now, I told you guys, man, he's been on the Test My Gangsta World Tour. He's been going city to city, state to state, daring people to test his gangster, right? Now, 6 9 he put out a post on Instagram the other day, and he's literally saying people are scared to test his gangster. Now, he put up a post. He goes, whether you know it or don't, man, that don't even sound right, man. You may not be passing this GD, man. What is that? This whole industry... Promoters, executives are scared of me. Like, it's real. LOL. They really scared of a dude with rainbow hair. Now, look, man. Now, maybe some of these people got clown phobia or something, man. And they see you and they think of a clown or something. I don't know. But I got to agree somewhat with 6 9 here, man. I got to agree. Let me tell you guys why. This is 2018, right? And this man has came out and said that he's the king of New York. And I'm looking around. I'm like, ain't somebody going to say something? Is somebody going to step up and say something? Now, the only people that I've seen step up and just say a little squeak was was casted over. And to be honest, he didn't really say too much of anything, right? And Jay hood And actually, you know what? Designer has something to say, too. So give the designer some props. But let's be honest here, man. Most of the people you think will be saying something right now, they're not saying anything, right? I mean, I would have thought Mano would have said something. He would have already smacked Takashi upside his face because that would have happened like years ago. Now, I'm wondering, like, are all these cats in New York right now, are they just busy just getting all this money where they don't even care? And I'm not saying they should go do that kind of stuff, but I'm just surprised that they ain't saying anything. I mean, even Takashi said it himself. He goes, if I wasn't the king of New York, people would have already done something. Even he knows what I know. And a lot of these rappers, they just don't want the friction with Takashi and his group. Now, for whatever reason that is, whether it's they feel money is going to be lost or they just don't want the smoke, I don't know. But what I will say about like promoters and these other people, I don't think the promoters are scared of Takashi. What they're scared of is the backlash. Now, I don't know if you guys know this because I haven't really been reporting it, but a few of Takashi's shows have been canceled. I mean, one show was canceled in Pennsylvania. Another show was canceled in New York. And that's not because someone said they were going to do something to him or him saying he was going to do something to someone else. Those shows were canceled because of his past allegations. People were calling up saying, yo, and I'm saying this in the best way. 
people are calling up these shows to the promoters saying, yo, how can you book this dude? Have you seen his charges with that little girl? That's what they're saying. So they go, oh, my God, we 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 got to cancel this show. Then they try to pretend like they didn't know of his previous charge and this and that. Right. So then they end up canceling the show because they don't want the backlash. So it's not that they're scared of him, the promoters. They're scared of that backlash that they're going to receive from the public. Now, now the promoters, they're scared of that. And they're also scared of like what people are going to do to you because they weren't worried about what you were going to do. And that's why all those shows were canceled in California because they know what's up when it comes to the gang activity there, man. They had to shut those shows down. They're kind of scared of the same thing of getting the backlash because of that. But they're also very worried because... They're not sure if Takashi's going to end up going to jail or not, right? I mean, when you're going around and you're telling people to test your gangster, either one or two things is going to happen, right? I mean, you either got to defend yourself or you're going to end up running down on someone and that can ultimately put you in jail. So they see that and tie that in with his shows being canceled. They probably want to sign him to some crazy 360 deal like they're doing all these other artists and they're like, yo... I mean, how are we really going to make money off of this guy? We can't get his show money because his freaking shows are getting canceled. So I would definitely agree with Takashi. These dudes are scared of something because I'm letting you guys know right now, man. If this was 2013, 2010, any dude that claimed he was king back in the days of 2010, 2013, around that time or whatever, Man, it was people at that person's neck saying, how the hell are you king? And I'm talking about like the top dudes in the game were calling out these people. I don't know if they didn't just took a fall back and they just don't care anymore because they getting bread and they're like, yo, let these young dudes do what they do. I don't know. You guys let me know what's in the comment section below.